Hello everyone. I have an unboxing of the March Cherry Box to share with you. So let's go ahead and get in. I wanted, I just kind of sharpied out my address here uh, so that I could show you how these are packaged because usually I take them all out and then show you so I don't have to accidentally show you my address, but I was thinking ahead today. So the Cherry Box always comes with this little insert and I believe that if you are a subscriber, when you get your insert, it will have project ideas in the inside. I'm pretty sure that it will have project ideas on the inside. So that's that. And then it always comes wrapped lovely in the red. And then the pizza box and here here is this month's kit. So there'll be a little bit of extra noise because I haven't unpacked, unboxed this yet. So usually when I get the kit, I take it all out of the packaging and I take all of the packaging like tape and stuff off. But I left it on for today's unboxing just to show you like how well these are all packaged together and everything that you're getting in the kit. So this month are um, things that are reusable. So the things in our kit this month that are, you can use them over and over, you have them in your stash. We have two pens. This is a Kelly Creates Moonlight Marker. I'm so excited. This is a white pen and I'm super excited to play with it and see what it does. So cool. I love a good white pen and it is like a pretty, it's like an awesome brush tip pen. So this collection of products this month has a hand lettering kind of vibe going on. The other thing you get is a colored marker. So this is one of Kelly Creates Dream Pens and those are double sided. So one side has a brush tip and one side has a different size brush tip, I think. Is that how it works? Yeah, this one's smaller. A small brush tip and a large brush tip. As some of you may know, I am in the process of learning how to hand letter. It's going okay. Um, the other thing that's in this set is a set of stamps. These are called New Bouncy Lettering for use with small brush tip pens. So what do you do? You use these to stamp and then trace with the pen. This makes it super easy to learn how to do hand lettering. That's their purpose. That being said, I also feel like you could totally just use them as an alphabet stamp, which I mean, you definitely could because it says trace over stamped letters for hours of easy practice. That's the idea behind them. But there's a set of alphabet stamps, which as many of you know, are not inexpensive. So having them right here in a kit coming to your house is pretty fabulous. They are acrylic, so we're gonna have to play with them a little bit, but I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and when I do my cherry box projects, I think I'm gonna use them and play with them a little bit. Okay, then uh, the collection that's kind of intertwined in this kit is Simple Stories, The Simple Life. So I have, we have the chipboard frames, which you know I'm going to tear the backs off of. But there are still very, very cute, really cute. These also are amazing for shakers. So I might be making some shakers with these. These make the easiest shakers. Like they're so fun to make shakers with. And then we have the Floral Bits die cut pack, which is just black and white. So this has the butterflies and little spring sprigs and it's just black and white die cuts, super easy to use. There are some colored Prima flowers. So these colors in the Prima flowers are whatever pen you get will coordinate with those Prima flowers. So I got purple, we have purple. And I think that there are multiple colors of this. So whatever, you know, everyone gets a different colored pen. 
So those are the Prima flowers. And these are not super bulky. I mean, Prima flowers can be pretty bulky and these aren't, they're pretty flat. So that's cool. Then we have a black paper sketch pad. So remember we have our white pen, our Moonlight white pen. So this is 25 sheets of American Crafts black paper. So it's a nice thick paper. And let's do, let's do a little doodling. Okay, let's see how this works. This is just my regular handwriting. This is not like, this is just me being extra with my own handwriting. There you go. So, that is very cool. Okay, so you have a whole pack of the black paper, the white, and then I am super curious. So, I also have, let's see, I also have. These are my Arteza white pens that I have that I use for other things in my scrapbook room. And those look amazing. And then I think, do I have a Uniball pen here too? Mm, no, that's an Arteza. The Arteza ones are my favorite, so I tend to keep those around. Yep, here we go. Let's write Cooper's name because he is the one barking right now. So this art pad will give you lots of options to play with your white pens and um, do journaling. So maybe we'll do a layout with, and I'll make a journaling spot. We'll do letters and beautiful. I love it. This will be super, super fun to play with. So that one then we got the simple life chipboard stickers it's just one-sided um and then we get a stencil okay you guys the stencil is so cool hold on a second let's look at this let me grab a piece of black stock Okay, so this is the black cardstock that I usually use just every day, like basil black cardstock. Um, it is much thinner than the black paper in this pad, just for comparison's sake. But look at this stencil. Like, how awesome. I need to figure out a way to use this stencil. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna use it yet, but I'm gonna figure out a way. <laughs> because that is so fun. And if you guys have been around for any length of time, you know how much I love stencils, so. That is so cool. Okay, and then we have the 12 by 12 collection kit from that Simple Life collection as well. And I don't have any of this line in my stash, so this will be a lovely collection to play with for me. And I really love that stencil. I just keep looking at it. Like, that is so cool. I'm gonna figure out a way to make it beautiful. You'll see. It's happening. I have ideas already. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna mask it off and I'm gonna do all, all the little pieces of it in different colors. And it's gonna be adorable. Okay, then Let's go through this collection kit. So, this paper is beautiful. This line, if I remember correctly, is very neutral toned. It doesn't have a lot. It's like black and white and then just little pops of like this green. 
So it's pretty neutral. You could really kind of mix and match it with lots and lots of different colors. Just gonna flip through all of these. And this is a simple story sign, which means I think there's only one of each pattern in it. I love that. That's awesome too. So then we get the, these are the cut apart pieces. So you have the tag pack, which has open the sides. You can mix and match. The uh, journaling elements. I love this sheet. Simple Stories has been putting these sheets in every one of their lines and I love these journal sheets. They are so usable and so cute and so fun. And that's gonna be hard because you see what's on the other side of it. Oh man. Okay. Next one is the three by four elements. And then the back is this pretty pattern. This would, these patterns are very kind of vintagey or heritage looking to me. So um, like this one. So maybe we'll do heritage layout. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. I haven't made any decisions about uh, photos or projects or anything. This is the four by four elements. And then that's the back. This is a four by six. And then this is the back. And then of course we have the 12 by 12 sticker sheet as well. So as usual, the March cherry box is full of goodness. Full, full, full of fun things to play with. So these are kind of like the consumable products, right? Every kit has consumable and not consumable products. So you're getting uh, the Simple Story, Simple Life, the little pops of color, the black paper sketch pad, and then the non-consumable stuff, which you're getting for your stash, for all of your scrapbooking or crafting needs. You're getting two pens. You're getting the stamp set and this beautiful stencil to play with. So really good quality. We're getting, again, as usual, these are, I'm telling you guys, Jessica and Rachel knock these kits out of the park every month. They're just chock full of fun stuff. And I am so excited to play with the March kit. So I will be back with projects for you. Um, I think like it probably be like a couple days after, maybe even just like one or two days after this video goes up. I think that's the plan. I'm pretty sure. So let's get started. I am totally going to start by masking off and inking up this stencil and creating a layout with it because it's so cute. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.